Hello guys, welcome back. So, straight to it. So we've been talking cryptocurrency, we've been talking about money, history of money so far. And then we've gotten to cryptocurrency. And now there's all this hype and all these balls and like, so what is really going on? What is happening? Okay. So now to explain that, we have to go back again a little bit. So we we'll go to just not too far, just after the World War. Um, so just after the Second World War, you see that the United States of America was a very, very rich and powerful country. So they were like the new, they were the world power. And um, so back then, the currency, the economy, the economy, world economy worked like this. So the US dollar was tied to gold. Gold was tied to the US dollar. So the US dollar was valued at, um, I think it was 30, 31 or 35 dollars per ounce of gold in, 19, in the 90s, I can't remember. So the US dollar was tied to gold and the US, gold was tied to the US dollar then the US dollar was subsequently tied to all other currencies like your naira, your euros, your pounds, all other currencies and this was how it worked, this was what was happening and this was how it was generally accepted even till today but now the only difference is that post 1971 under the president Nixon era of the United States the, he made a decree uh, he made a he he removed gold he stopped gold from being backed by the US dollar so the US dollar was no longer tied to gold so what it was unlike before where the US dollar was tied to gold where value the value of the US dollar was tied to gold he, re, he he stopped that and then from then on the US dollar became a fiat currency so a fiat currency what's a fiat currency a fiat currency is a currency is any currency that has no intrinsic value of itself but gains its value gains whatever value it may have from government authority and government promises so that's what a fiat currency is so you see that the paper money now for instance like this currency i can't this this paper piece piece of paper has no value right now like it's it really it's not i can't use it to do anything but it's just because my government said that okay this piece of paper is worth the amount it is that's why it is now worth that amount so that's what a fiat currency is so um becoming a fiat currency you your value has to now you've lost you've lost you begin to lose the original value because your value has to now come from somewhere before it was tied to gold but since it was no longer tied to gold and became a fiat currency it just became a floating currency so you see over the years while the US dollar became a fiat currency there came about something called if inflation inflation so inflation basically is like the the rise in the price of goods and services in a particular place over a period of time and this is usually caused by the the, the value of the, of the currency in the economy going down so since 1971 since after since after gold was after the US dollar was stopped being backed by gold it became a fiat currency and it became susceptible to inflation 
so you see that from the year 90 from the 90s prices of goods and services keep keep increasing so what we you would have used ten dollars to go to the grocery store to buy can't even get you up to like maybe half of those things right now and half is an understatement ten dollars in 1970s is not ten dollars of 2021 and that's what we call inflation coming back here to nigeria you see that okay yeah one naira is not one naira the one naira of the 90s is not one naira of today because um i remember like i said when i used coins i used one naira coin i could buy sweets and uh some candy some sort of gums with one naira to two naira and uh i think such a water was around like uh, five naira but now you can't even there i don't think there's anything worth one naira right now so that is inflation that is inflation so what is happening back to what is happening so as i said the history is that gold was the u.s dollar was being tied to gold before in 1971 president nixon stopped that and the, the gold stopped being back the u.s dollar stopped being backed by gold and became a fiat currency so as it became a fiat currency this led to inflation price of goods and services rising and uh, that is where we are now so say sorry so one would say okay so what's happening what's next the value okay why first of all sorry i'm sorry why is this happening this is happening because of something that is called the the great the great ponzi scheme right so what happened is that after the dollar stopped being backed by gold, anytime the US government needs some money, they need some inflow, they go to they go through they go to I mean, a to a corporation or what I call it now called the, the Federal Reserve. So now the US government takes loans from the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve gives out the US government these loans and then the US government pays back these loans by auctioning them out to as government bonds to other countries so different countries can buy US US bonds and loans that they take from the Federal Reserve so what has been happening over the years is that the, the, the circle has been repeating itself where the US government takes loan. The latest the latest instance is this uh, steamies and the money bag Joe <laughs> situation going on right now. So you see that um, the US government due to COVID had to has had to send in some more stimulus packages to, for just to their citizens which is the right thing to do actually so but it has repercussions where is the money coming from it can't come out from thin air so what's that what's what's going to happen is that it's going to it's going to cause a lot of a lot of debt in the u.s government in the treasury and it's going to cause the value of the dollar to inevitably go down so what happens now is that a lot of investors and and people are looking for where to save to keep their money so that it will, so it will be saved from inflation so it doesn't um, it doesn't devalue the way the naira is the naira and other currencies and the us dollar is devaluing so that is where bitcoin and cryptocurrency comes in